Hey folks, welcome back. Well, we've been um, pulling injectors out on this uh, Cummins engine here. It's 5.9. This is a 2000, so it's the uh, 24 valve. And that's, um, so this is only going to work for your, your 98s to, uh, what, 02, I think it is. Um, because it, you'll have different, different injector styles for the uh, common rails and whatnot. Um, so that's what we're working on here. But anyways, these are so carboned up that we're actually uh, getting combustion uh, into the return fuel system that you actually get pressure. You know, you pull the cap off, you know, go, you, after you shut it off and you hear the psh, there's a lot of pressure in the fuel tank. And then when the cap is, is off like this, you get um, exhaust smoke and stuff coming out of there. So in, indicative of the um, copper washers and stuff on the end of the injectors that are not sealing. Um, but if you have these things, that, and there's about uh, four out of the six of these injectors that are extremely carboned up. Here's a number five that we just pulled out. You can see how it's getting all that carbon and stuff back up in here. Um, so that's not, uh, that's not good. Um, but that makes them extremely hard to get out. Um, the first... Uh, Two of them, I had to use this slide hammer. Just run the the uh, bolt that one out of. I think it's the intake horn there. One of those bolts is the right the right threads to uh, thread in the top of the injector. Um, lots of videos on how to re replace these injectors and all that stuff. I'm just showing you how to get ones that are stuck out of here. But anyways, ran the bolt down through here. Um, and I, I had to these first two. I had to really you know, hit hard to get them things to come out of here. These two came out uh, not too bad. Um, and then these these back two, obviously we can't use the slide hammer. So that's where this video comes into play and what kind of uh, stuff I use to make a special tool with $11 worth of stuff. Or actually, yeah, somewhere around there. And I'll show you how it works. All right, this is what you'll need to get. This is a one inch by close, that's what they call it, um, piece of pipe. And we've got our eight millimeter bolt here with threads all the way up. You can use a piece of all thread if you want, um, but it's gotta be the eight millimeter th metric threads, uh, 1.25 thread pitch, I believe is what these bolts are. Anyways, um, that's the size of the bolt, not the size of the head. I think the head's like 12 millimeters or something on this particular bolt. Same with the nut. So that's what you need to get a nut to match it. Run the nut all the way up here. I got none of these fender washers here. Anything would work really just needs to uh, be able to cover that. Um, and you're gonna drop this bolt down through there. What this does is this fits perfectly over the injector and then it fits in here around everything else. I'll show you how this all works. And then what you do is you thread in this bolt, you know, with the tool on there. I'll show you how to put it on there. And then as you run the nut down, it's pushing down on this part, pulling the injector up. That's how we're gonna, that's how we just got this one out of here. Um, Cause this, and this one is extremely tough in there. Probably even more tougher than, um, and then these other other first two that were you know pretty carboned up that was like the worst one yet and i don't know what cylinder number six is going to be like but i'm going to show you a reinstalled uh cylinder number three injector just so i can show you easier filming on how to install this tool and how to make it work okay there's our injector top right here um so basically this piece here is going to fit right over there and it fits in there perfect. I thought I was gonna have to grind it down if it's gonna be so thick or whatever. And then I said I used remember these fender washers. Drop this down in here. Now we'll take, we're gonna thread the bolt in. As far as it'll go. Then we'll, I'm gonna run the nut down. Um, because you've ran this bolt all the way down, you're not going to uh, need to hold it or anything like that. 
So I need to find a 12 millimeter wrench. Okay, so now this one's gonna come out pretty easy because I already had this one out, but it's just for the sake of demonstration here. Sometimes it wiggle, wiggle and pull. That's one thing about having this, have this head on here, which is nice, is because um, it's getting easier to turn the nut now. So there you go. Injector come right perfectly through that washer dropped off of there. I think that's what that was. And that made it, you know, obviously the the one I did here, number five cylinder, the first time I used this, this new tool, um, it was a lot, you know, harder going, not too bad, but um, it worked great, you know. So now what we've got to try to do is get it over there in and do number six um see we still haven't even gotten the injector hold down off of it yet so it hasn't been done but i just don't know about um getting the camera in at a good angle to film it or not um, we're doing exactly what we did before um what i just showed you um so i'm gonna go ahead and get that out well folks um got that last injector out pretty carboned up um and uh you, you get all these cleaned up and everything like that they should be fine um you know at this point you know it's always not a bad idea to replace them too um but you know these were all working this pickup engine and everything was running great just uh leaking some combustion back in here um back into the return system uh, due to these copper washers and stuff like that. So um, Remember when you do take these injectors out the copper washer did not come with this injector So I have to go and retrieve it out of there um, But anyways, yeah that right there made the job um, Super easy one inch by close Yeah, one inch by close uh, threaded pipe um it doesn't exactly have to be something like this it could just be a you know some sort of a piece of metal stock i just know that this is at a quick glance this is exactly what fit and it fit really really well um <laughs> and, and then you get your eight millimeter by 1.25 uh bolt or all thread or something like that thread that in there and then you've got your nut and then some kind of washers just to you know push down on that probably something thicker than these even you can see these all have cupped now so either put more of them on there or get thicker ones um you know it'll fit over that um but all in all it, it worked really well because um i even have a pry bar uh that i have cut you know and this can this can go over like if you're, you know, get the one bolt, you know, like this, and you can use a block of wood sometimes in here, or you can go off the cross the rocker. Now that was not going to work on these particular injectors. They were stuck in there. Um, I even bent the bolt using that big guy with a block of wood trying to get this first injector out. Hence the reason I came up with this tool um, to do because after after how much force it took using the slide hammer. To get the first one out um yeah that wasn't gonna gonna work with the side hammer wasn't gonna work for the, the last two so that's how we came up with this idea and hopefully it helps you out thanks for watching